all I did was to find them and to support them. And basically all the work was done by them. And, and with your money and, and, yes, and my support. About a billion dollars, is that a fair? Uh, well, it's, co it's been committed, and I think it's, I must have spent by yeah. now. That it's, it's, uh, now we are um, running sort of in the range of a uh, couple of hundred million. Any, uh, com any question in your mind it's going to pay off? It, it, it has paid off. It has paid off. that are being elected by Soros simply usurp the power of the legislature and not prosecute drug cases, gun cases, break entering cases, looting, rioting, all the favorite crimes of the left. And all these rogue prosecutors are competing with each other to be the, who could be the most lawless, most lawless. Gave $35 million to anti-police activists. A $15 million contribution to Tide's advocacy for the Electoral Justice Project. That project is led by the Black Lives Matter movement. They destroyed store windows in Soho and lit fires during another night of violent protests. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan spoke to business owners cleaning up the mess. What started as mostly peaceful protests, NYPD saying when night fell, the destruction began. Cameras capturing looters inside this Urban Outfitters at 14th and 6th, moments after the windows were shattered. It's all right to protest. It don't go right. It's what you got to do. The damage was widespread throughout multiple neighborhoods. Apple stores, this Verizon store, and clothing stores. Not with just their windows shattered, but the contents inside taken. In the daylight, the graffiti could be seen up and down the street. In some cases, the name George Floyd, George Floyd, and other cases, angry messages directed at police. It has paid off, and I think that the money that goes down the drain, because a lot of it does, uh, uh, I think it is, it, it, it's, it's worthwhile that it should go down the drain. The people that I'm, that I'm contributing to feeding, they get killed, so it's down the drain. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. But it still has to be done.